Welcome to this edition of Art at the Clayton Center. This is the uh, August edition, 2012. Tonight we have three local artists, and I think it's a, a wonderful show, and I hope you'll have an opportunity to get down and see it. The work I'm standing in front of is uh, Kima Richardson. Kima has been painting, if you can believe this, about nine months. And she does these abstracts with spray cans of paint. Just gets into it and comes up with these beautiful things. Um, we also have uh, another Clay Clayton artist, Thurman Goyne, the uh, second. And Thurman is a, a printmaker and uses the very ancient uh, uh, method of using wood blocks and uh, linoleum and all that to make his uh, his, uh, his things to make the prints. And the uh, third artist is Kirk Adams uh, from Clayton. He has, currently has a studio in Raleigh. And uh, I think you'll find his work to be very interesting also. I hope you'll have an opportunity to come down to the Clayton Center and see it. The show will be here until the end of the month. Pleased to be here with uh, one of our artists tonight, Thurman Goins, the second. Second implies there was a first? Yes, yes, my father is the first. And is your father still in Georgia? I understand you... No, no, he's here as well. Oh, wonderful. Thurman is from Clayton, has lived here... About six years. About six years, and you came up from, from Georgia. Uh, what brought you to Clayton? Um, it was a relocation with my family. We moved from, uh, actually from Fayetteville to um, Clayton. Was your father in the military? Um, my mother, yes. Oh, your mother was in the military, wonderful. Well, the work that you have here tonight is um, prints. Yes. And uh, it's made with very ancient method. Tell us about uh, what the work is. The uh, majority of the pieces that I created for this show were wood cuts and the, the woodcut is basically carving into wood with a gouge and creating the image using the, the white parts or the black parts. You have your choice. Um, and you ink the plate after you finish cutting and then put a piece of paper on the plate, rub it in, and pull the relief from that. And that's your print that you have and what I have here today. That is... Uh a time-consuming piece of, of work, piece of art. I remember doing something like that when I was back in high school. We mm -hmm. did it on uh, linoleum, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, was, it was tedious. And I admire what you've done here. It's, it's spectacular. Thank you. Um, you are a graduate of Johnston Community College. Yes, I am. And I, I love that institution. I try to support it any time I can. Right. And uh, you graduated, what, two years ago? Yes, 2010. With a An associates? associates in Applied Science of Advertising and Graphic Design. Okay. But then you decided to go on to university. Yes. And did you kind of change your major along the way a little bit more towards the art? Somewhat. Um, generally because at North Carolina Central, before now, we had a program that was called Visual Communication and it was geared to visual communication, not necessarily graphic design, but it was in the lines of visual communication. So that's the one thing that moved me closer to the fine art side, but still graphic design is in the forefront. Graphic design is still the forefront of what I want to do. I would, okay. I'm always an artist at heart. NC Central, that's, yes. that's in Durham. Yes, sir. You make that drive, how often do you have to go over there? Yes, sir. Um, last semester it was not, not that much because I did online courses, but um, this semester it will be a bit more, um, five days out of the week. And you're going for your bachelor's degree? Yes, ma'am. In? In graphic design, well, okay. in visual communication. It'll be a BFA in Bachelor's of Fine Art in uh, graphic design or visual communication. Okay, you've, you've named your, 
show tonight. Tell us about that and uh, where'd you come up with that name? Um, Dorothy Domboski, she suggested that I do landscapes. And so throughout the year, I always take pictures with my phone. Thank God for camera phones. <laughs> um, but I take a lot of pictures of Clayton and anywhere I go. And uh, I used those images to make woodcuts from. And these are the selected ones that I chose, which would basically be the, um, the landscape of 42 um, in the rear view, in my rear view of the light pole, of one of the light poles. Uh -huh. uh, you're, you've, do, you've done this show tonight with Kirk Adam. Uh, tell us about your relationship with Kirk. How, uh, how did you uh, team up with him? And cause he's a well-known artist here in Clayton. Right. While I was at JCC, it was suggested that we go out and meet other artists in the community and outside the community. And for me at the time, Kirk was close enough and he was willing to, you know, lend a hand to anything that I had needed. Mm -hmm. So that's where I met him early in 2010. And uh, when we found out that we we're both going to be in the show, we decided to, hey, work together on some of this stuff. That's and uh, he helped me, gave me an inspiring idea of using old prints to make new work from as a collage. And uh, so that's where we based the, some of the work that's over there. And that's where I learned to make some of the work over here. Kirk is an idea guy. He will, he will come up with a lot of ideas and uh, mm -hmm. uh, quite, a, quite a renaissance guy. He's a little bit into yeah. everything. Yes, yes. All right, well, we really appreciate it here at CVA that you would uh, bring your work to us. And uh, we wish you all the best in the future. And uh, pleasure meeting you. Thank you Come for back the offer. Again. Come <laughs> back again. This is the second artist we have displaying at the Clayton Center this month. Uh, this is Kima Richardson. And Kima is a, a resident of Wilson Mills. Yes. But uh, when, how, when did you move to Wilson Mills? I moved to Wilson Mills probably about six months ago, six, seven months ago. No, when did you move to North Carolina? Maybe that's you, the question. That's the question. Okay. okay. <laughs> I moved to North Carolina, I believe, back in 1988. Okay. Um, I had an opportunity to move down here and stay with my grandmother. And that was an opportunity for me to change my life around and have a new beginning. So that's the reason why I'm here. The art that you have here is amazing. It's beautiful. And I'm told you do it with spray paint. Now, I assumed you did it with an airbrush. But then I found out, no, you use cans of spray. Yes. Tell us, how do you do this, this beautiful work with cans of spray? Well, I don't know. Honestly, I, people will say, well, how don't you not know what you're doing? But I just turn my music on and I just start spraying and I just, basically, I'm just saying it's a gift. It's a gift God has blessed me with um, and they're all one of a kind. And I, I just fell in love with what I'm doing and what you see is no thought of how it's going to be done. It just ends up like this. Well, I think you know that I often talk about the self-taught artists or the artists who have come to the art later in life. Mm -hmm. You've been doing this for about all of, what, nine months? Nine, yeah, pretty much. That's amazing. That's amazing. You're putting out this kind of work. Uh, did you just wake up one morning and say, I think I'll pick up a... I know you did some <laughs> sketching ahead of time. Um, yes, what happened was I was going through a rough depression. Um, and I had a one, well, have a wonderful therapist who suggested that I just draw. She said, draw anything. I don't care what you draw. Just go home and just draw anything when you're feeling bad. And I kept on, and I'm beginning to realize that, wow, these people look like somebody. And by the time it was all said and done, I had drawn over 500 oh women, and they actually looked like women. So I did basically wake up one morning and decide I want to spray paint. And I woke up, 
and didn't have any money and I went to a friend and I asked her would she invest in me and I said I need money to get spray paint and she loaned me twenty dollars I went to Lowe's and went home and I started spray painting and I started with paper and I didn't really have that feel that this is what I want to do mm -hmm. and I remember that when my family came to visit me that they brought me some canvases and oh my goodness it was on from there it's been non-stop I started with the canvases and started taking them around to people so that they could see what I was doing and they just started saying wow you got you got something here and through all of that the depression got less and less and less and then again I woke up probably around the beginning of January February and decided I want to put on my own art show so I put everything together and I had a friend of mine named Gail who helped me and we put it together. We did all the work by ourselves, we did all the refreshments by ourselves and the name of the show was called Coming Out of the Storm and it was a great success. And you did that down in Selma, didn't you? I did it at Selma at the Lions Club, I believe that's what they called Selma's Lions Club. And it How was nervous great. were you? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I was so excited and I think the highlight was when I met the mayor. I was like, okay, I have arrived, you know. So I, I wasn't really, really bad, but as I started to seeing people coming in and watching the expression that they were showing, it, it, it was wonderful. Well, it is amazing uh, what you, you do. And uh, like I say, I don't know how you do it, but uh, it, it's just amazing. And, and the fact that it was therapeutic for you, yes. that's, that's just icing on the cake. Definitely. Uh, this, so this is your second show. This is my second show. And uh, you've got, you're going to have another show in September? In uh, October 8th, and it's going to be done in the D.C. area. I have uh, some artwork that I have down in Smithfield that um, a couple of businesses allowed me to hang my work up there, so that's okay. pretty much it. Well, I was going to ask you, is there any place else we can go to see your work? I have, um, there's a coffee shop called Melodies. I believe that's on, I wanna say it's on 2nd Street. Okay. And then there's also a consignment shop called Plus Plus, and it's right there on the main 70 there, and I have paintings there as well. Okay. And I've also seen you at the Clayton Farmer's Market. Yes, I've also had an opportunity to display uh, some of my artwork there. I'm not there on a regular basis, but I try to get out there as often as I can, mm -hmm. and that's been really good. I've also, when they had the Mills Brook. Millstock. Millstock. Mill I'm sorry, the Millstock. Mm -hmm. Now that's a CVA I, event also. I had an opportunity to participate in that and people, you know, once again, loved what I was doing, so I thought that that was just wonderful. Well, what you do is wonderful. And we are so glad, at CVA, to have you here. Well, thank you. And uh, I hope our reception a little bit later this evening uh, turns out to be a big success. And, okay. uh, and you sell a bunch of stuff. I hope so too, and I thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to allow people to see it's what I do. It's our pleasure, our pleasure. Hopefully we can have you back again I when look you're world famous. It. Hey, anytime, just let me know. Okay. Okay, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Art at the Clayton Center. Next month is one of the highlights of our CBA season. We have the art fair next month. Uh, I don't like to read, but I'm going to read because there's a lot of information here. This is a opened art show and it's for photographers and fine art painters or, or makers. The winner of the show of photography will win $750, and the winner of the fine arts section of the show will win $750. In addition, there are uh, three judges awards, each one for, uh, they will each get $100.
And then there's a People's Choice Award. If you will come to the reception on the 13th of September, you will be able to vote for your favorite painting. So CVA, uh, with the help of Town of Clayton, is going to pay $1,825. If you are interested in, it, in getting into the show, uh, you don't have to live in Clayton. Uh, area artists are invited to enter. There's a $25 entry fee. Uh, and the deadline is August 31st. We have to have your application by August 31st. Uh, Clayton Visual Arts, Inc. is who you make the check out to. And um, if you join the show, your art needs to be brought to the Clayton Center on September the 4th. And we will have two professional judges one is uh, Eric McRae in Raleigh, and uh, Susan Bailey uh, will be doing the photography part of the, of the, uh, the judging. Uh, I think you'll find it to be a wonderful show. Last, last year we had about 50 people competing in it, and we had some wonderful art. So please try to come out next, next month, September 13th, 6 to 7.30, right here at the Clayton Center. Thank you.